This right here, this is the uh, the three different positions that I'm talking about. There's three holes located right here. You have a bottom, a center, and a top. This is normally attached to the rock shaft housing, which bolts to the rear axle. Um, sometimes you'll find these in different configurations. Um, some of them only have two. Some of them only have one, like our Massey Ferguson, which I'll show a picture of, the older Massey Ferguson that we have. Uh, but this one particular model, the newer, most of the newer ones have at least uh, two to three. And we're going to show you what they're for. Now, the bottom hole down here, which our top link would attach to, that is for lighter implements such as landscape rakes. Uh, you can, if you have a lighter uh, rotary mower uh, or shredder, bush hog, uh, if you have a light one, a light duty one, you can put that on the on the very bottom one out right here. And what that allows is on the very, very bottom hole, it puts this top link at an angle so that when you come up and lift up your three-point attachment, no matter what it is, the attachment is going to go higher off the ground in the rear, which keeps it from dragging along like on a, uh, on a shredder, let's say, or a rotary cutter. Uh, your drag wheel that's in the very, very back, uh, It'll keep it off the ground where you won't be bumping the ground as you're as you're driving along as you're transporting it. Now, the second hole right here is for medium duty implements. Um, they classify medium medium implement. Bleh. They classify medium duty implements such as the box blade. Depending on the size, now if you've got a larger box blade, I wouldn't go in the middle. I'd go in the top hole. Uh, the middle hold is designed for medium weight implements. Now, this is not ground engaging, which would be going subsoil. This would be anything that's riding across the top of the ground or something that's heavier in weight, such as a heavy duty brush hog or, or a rotary cutter. Uh, I would even run, you could even run a heavier, a little bit heavier duty uh, uh, box blade behind it. Anything that's got a little bit of weight that's gonna it's, it's gonna be pressing down on the back of the tractor. It's got a little bit more meat in here. You see, you're not gonna you're not gonna break this down here. The weakest point on the very bottom one is this right here, and I have seen quite a few of those pop off. Now, sometimes when they pop and they break, like I say, most of these are cast housings. Some of them are steel. Uh, what you'll see is it'll totally crack out the whole housing and you're going to end up having to buy a new one. In some cases, you may not have to. You may be able to go ahead and use the second or the top hole and not even worry about the bottom one. But the whole idea is not to, not to damage your tractor, which is what we're talking about here. The very top one up here, that is for ground engaging uh, subsoil. Anything with a plow, um, a... a uh, 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 a root plow, a uh, uh, a chisel plow, anything that's going to the so in, down into the soil. I actually run my box blades on the top. I want all the strength that I can get. You never know if that box blade is going to hang up on something. Uh, you don't know what's buried. You could have a chunk of concrete that's buried below the ground uh, where a fence post used to be. There's any number of things, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to break that out. Like I said, it's $7,000 in damage. Uh, most of the time, even on that top deal, I'm going to get enough lift out of my uh, piece of equipment that I don't have to worry about it dragging the ground. But just just the next time you hook up, take a look at those three positions, uh, kind of rate it and what you think, you know, as far as like uh, weight-wise, what, uh, what you're going to be doing with that implement and, and adjust the top link to that hole. Now, if you've got taller tires on your tractor, you could always leave it in the top and not even mess with it. 99% uh, of the time, I don't have real tall tires. I've got turf tires, uh, but I leave mine on the top position and I really have no trouble. The only thing that I may want to go to the, uh, the second position is, is on my, uh, uh, my bush hog uh, or my brush hog, uh, the rotary cutter. I may want to go to that center. It gets me just a little bit higher, keeps that back trail wheel from, from tapping and, and bumping on the ground while I'm in transport mode. Uh, but anyway, if you take a, keep an eye on that, you're going to keep your tractor from getting messed up. That's one of the things that a lot of people totally overlook, and you need to pay, pay special attention to it so that you don't mess your tractor up. Anyway, if you like the videos, please 
Hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, put a comment down, let us know if you've ever messed your tractor up doing this, uh, uh, or even let us know where you're from. That's going to help the channel grow. Like I say this is a brand new channel, and we sure appreciate you being here. I hope you come back. We're going to have a whole lot more videos. Thank you.